On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. Welcome to another episode of Fathers Without Rights. There was overflowing testimony from uh, my neighbors, from school officials. There were pretrial depositions introduced. Uh, there was an immense amount of evidence. But in actual fact, my best, best witness was my ex-wife. Each and every time she opened her mouth, and either in a hearing, in a deposition, affidavit, or actually at trial, she gave yet another version of the facts. And I'm sure that this had a very dramatic impact on the jury in um, understanding what was actually going on. And they made the right decision, granted me custody of the children. Oh, well, look what you're exposing your son to. And basically saying, I can't teach my son the truth because my son would look at me and say, well, Dad, why are these people doing this to you? And I would have to explain. Is this fair? Uh, absolutely not. Is this the America you thought you were growing up and raising children in? No. I mean, this is totally unnatural. The child support, in, at least in the Chicago metro area, wasn't going to the to the families and to the children. It was ending, a greater part of it was ending up in others' others' hands. The 